an adventure with Rocky Star. <laughs> Shortly after their arrival on Centaur, Rocky and Mitch are made prisoner by Zog and taken to the dread prison island of Mookum. After their first day's work is over, Rocky and the others race for a nearby swamp. They reach it before their guards can stop them. As they hurry through the squelching, evil-smelling mud, they hear a strange noise. Great Scott! Look, over there! Oh, Rocky, what is it? Some animal, I should say. Oh. Look at its eyes! Jeepers! They're like apples! Well, it's for all the world like those dragons in the fairy stories. Oh, boy, I can feel its hot breath! Now, don't move, anybody! Don't move! Stay where you are! Rocky, it's only a few yards away! Run for it! Run! Giggling breath! Oh, what's happening? There! It's all right! Uh, all right, relax. You'll all get up again. He won't hurt oh. you now. Oh. You know, I thought the jungles on Venus were bad enough, but, but they haven't anything in this swamp. In the land of San Domingo, if you go cold, go by Jingo, da 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 From the fields and from the marshes, came the old and young Pygasses, da 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 They all spake with a different lingo, they all love go by Jingo. And every night they sang in the pale moonlight. Oh, by G, by Gush, by Gum, by Jump. Oh, by Jingo, won't you hear our love? We will build for you a hut. You will be our favorite nut. We'll have a lot of little oh, by gullies. Then we'll put them in the follies. By Jingo, said by Gush, by G. By Jiminy, please don't bother me. So they all went away singing, oh, by G, by Gus, by Gum, by Jump, by Jingo, by G, you're the only one for me. Let's cut the cackle and get through the swamp, huh? Uh, the sooner we're out of this place, the better. Sent for me, your majesty. Yes, Zog. We would speak with you. You may join us. We will speak the tongue of the planet Earth. We have heard rumors that a strange spaceship has arrived on Centaur. A strange ship? You need not deny it. We understand that there are strange people aboard the ship. If... You will remain silent. Zog, we would speak with the people from that ship. We are very interested in far-off worlds and their people. Did you meet these strangers when you were on the planet Earth? One is called Rocky Star. The other members of his crew are Mitch Morgan and a woman. Tell us of this woman. Is she as ours are? Even more beautiful, sire. We have no right to raid other worlds and bring their people to Centaur for a life of slavery. We have no May right... May I remind your majesty that your father uh, had an accident after he expressed similar thoughts. The late king of Centaur was murdered by the royal ministers. The ship you saw, sire. Have done with your lying and your evasion, Zog. And I command that you bring those people to us at once. We would speak with them. We will make peace with our enemies. And then you and the rest of the royal ministers will die. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to be out of that swamp. Uh, it was like walking through the Stone Age. Keep your voice down, everybody. There might be somebody around. But you said there wasn't anyone in sight. Well, I, I can't see all the beach, not Meg. Why not wait until it's night time? Die. There's no night on Centaur. No. What's our next move? Well, we've got to get control of one of those fishing boats. Here we go. Let's hop aboard. Well, I'll slip up over the cockpit. Hey, on them. Put it, put them. hey Mitch, I think we're being spotted. They're firing at us. Come on, shake yourself and start that engine. What will happen now? Can they hold off their enemies until Rocky and Mitch start the motorboat? And will they get away before Zog and Cos arrive? There are thrills ahead in the next dramatic chapter of the Rocky Star Adventure. Flying Saucer! <laughs> Thank you.